these are the vegetables we are going to be spraying. Of course, we showed you part of it uh, the other time from the last video. So uh, we're going to apply it now, and you're going to see how we apply it to the vegetables. Now, uh, rabbit urine is not only used as a means of fertilizer and also pest control. It is also used in uh, compost, uh, organic composting. That is when you add rabbit urine to compost, it helps the breakdown process of the compost very fast and makes it very rich. And rabbit urine is also used in hydroponics and aquaponics. So the rabbit urine is mixed with the solution used as feeding for the crops in hydroponics and hydroponics. So, um, uh, aquaponics, sorry, hydroponics and aquaponics. That is planting crops without soil using a, a water medium to plant the crops. So, the water medium you use to plant those crops in hydroponics and aquaponics, you can also add rabbit urine to that solution, that water medium, because of the high nitrogen content in the rabbit urine. So, rabbit urine is used for fertilizer which we are going to show you now how you apply it to the crops and uh, the next video we're going to be making like I said last time is the one where we use rabbit urine as a means of pest control so that will be spraying as a foliar spray then you also use it in composting uh, in order to help decompose your compost then it is used in hydroponic and aquaponics so rabbit urine is very rich and very essential in crop production all right so now we are going to go straight into the application as fertilizer to our tomato crops so you can see the tomato has started flowering so you can also apply at this stage and remember we planted in bags so this is climate smart agriculture we didn't plant these things on the bare soil so what we did was to get a rich soil which we also uh, did based on composting on the farm here and apply those into the uh, bags and of course grow our vegetables in the bags and you can see how well they are doing so you don't need to use so much space for this uh, planting system so uh, we're just going to start how well the vegetation is doing we have not applied anything other than using of the rabbit urine because I've decided not to include any other organic or inorganic chemical. I just want to use the rabbit urine purely. So what we do here is we apply this uh, ratio of diluted rabbit urine with water once every week. You can apply it once every week or once every two weeks. It doesn't matter. But just ensure that you don't apply it every day. So once every week is what we do. These vegetables are just, I think, a month and uh, two weeks old. You can see how they are. Some of them have even started flowering. So they are very nicely done. And of course, we planted in bags. Because like we said, we are not looking at only those who have land to start farming. You can actually start farming without having a land. We have shown you how to plant on the wall and also this we planted in bags so you don't have to wait until you get a land now if you come here let me take this uh we'll take you to the carrots first so these are our carrots you can see we planted the carrots in the bags and we have also been watering these carrots with the rabbit urine once every week so you can see how well they are doing so this is a proof that the rabbit urine the theory of rabbit urine it works and it's very practical so what i'm going to do now is just pour it over here sorry so now you understand that we need a lot to do all the vegetables we have well i'll just show you how we do this and we'll move on
So we are finished watching our carrots. Now let's water our vegetables. So for the um, tomato, you don't pour it on the leaves. We just pour it by the bees like this. So that's how we apply it. So now if you come here we have some of them here as well so you can see we have about four cans here so we just pour these ones from the top to bottom so you see there are openings so the water doesn't stay inside completely it drains out so the nutrients remains with the soil and they continue to do well so here is our poultry unit actually for layers so we're expecting our second batch of birds we just took out the first batch not quite long so let's take you to the other side so you can see this is how we apply it. And this tomato will start yielding very soon. In another two weeks from now, we should begin to see fruits coming out from this tomato. Yeah, so this is Mr. Kester Amos, your favorite animal scientist. So you now understand that I know a lot of things that I've yet to brought to the fore. So there's so much knowledge we want to share with the world. So you help us to share it because we can't reach out to everybody if you don't share this video. So please make sure you subscribe, like the video, click on the bell icon and ensure that you share it to groups and also to your friends so they can actually see this that they can actually grow things within their homes and survive because in the nigeria we live in today food is the most important thing ordinarily that should be the most important thing but today our economy is re-emphasizing that to us so we must go into agriculture small scale medium scale agriculture is what sustains an economy not commercial scale not large scale you only have 20 percent of large scale agricultural farms in any economy so the what sustains the economy 60 percent of what is being produced and taken in in the country is produced by small older farmers and medium scale farms so don't say you want to accumulate all the money in the bank before you start your own farm so you can see I'm very comfortable I'm putting on sale pass because I'm in my house. <laughs> Ordinarily, if I go outside to do a job, of course, I won't be dressed like this. So this is to tell you that I'm at home and you can see what I have within my premises. By the time this tomato grow, the objective is not to sell it. I can harvest and use in the house and also store and probably share to am uh, among some neighbors around. So that's the beauty of it. You're producing what you're eating. So that gives you confidence of what you're taking in and of course you have seen that we don't use inorganic npk fertilizers here we use purely organic means of fertilization so you've been hearing about rabbit urine this is what rabbit urine does and these are some of the results you can get from rabbit urine so until we come your way again don't forget we are going to make another video on how to use rabbit urine 
as a means of pest control. Until then, thank you, God bless you, and bye-bye.